Well folks, we're back at it again. We're a ninja boy. We're on the Ninja ZX 14R. It's that time to take it out for a ride. A little, a little dirty, it's been inside where the little doggy runs around. Old Chris. His YouTube is nothing unsavory. He doesn't post too much, so maybe this will get him to start making some videos. Videos, videosos. Let's get this adjusted a little bit and see what we can do here. I don't know where it's supposed to be. Say hi to the neighbors. So today, I did not ride my motorcycle up here. And that is the first time I have not done that. Because I had to deliver a TV to Chris's mommy. Made her very happy. So I took the old family mobile. So this is the first bike I've been on today. So it's kind of fun. Went duck hunting today. And I got up at 12.55 a.m because our destination was roughly two and a half hours away. It was south of us. It was a permitted hunt. It was DEA dead there. All the birdies must have flown south or something, but they were not flying today. But anyways, that's okay. I forgot there's a 15 minute, 15 mile per hour speed limit through here. And that was after going to bed at 10. So, I am tired. Does it say what time? 5.02 p.m.? No, that ain't correct. It's 4.02 p.m. So I've been up 16 hours. I don't know. I'm just a little tired, but not that tired. I have to remind myself that this bike does not have a quick shifter. This bike does not have a quick shifter. It needs a quick shifter, Chris. Should really get a quick shifter, Chris. Should take this bike back to Arizona with you, Chris, and get a quick shifter, Chris. I have 30 minutes to do this, and I'm already three minutes in, because I really need to be gone on the interstate by 4.45. It does not take an hour to get back down to my house, but I need to make sure I have plenty of time to get my... Obligatory! You have to! If you do not, are you even a motorcyclist? Oh my god, this bike is so, so different! It is incredible! It rides... Oh. Oh. It is, it is good. It, it, this bike is so stable, it is, it is, it's crazy. And I mean, I get it, it's a super cruiser. It's, that's why it has 200 and something horsepower. And it can go 200 miles per hour, or 199, or whatever bullet they say. This thing is just absolutely incredible. And the riding position isn't the, the the worst. I mean, it's not like you're super crunched up. I am five foot nine. My license says five foot ten, but I am five foot nine, and uh, you know, I feel fine. I can see where a taller guy, six foot two guy, would uh, be pretty comfortable on here as well. Shorter person though might have a little problem. But hey, don't let that stop you. Get on, little Johnny. You can do it. Listen that exhaust. I forgot to put my headphone my earplugs in. Actually I didn't forget. I didn't even have my earplugs because I took our automatic tiny little SUV Ford Escape today instead of taking the Mustang, the Celine Mustang. And that one is the one that has my earplugs. What are you gonna do? How do you how do you do that, Chris? I guess I should have asked. Do you twist in? Is that it? I need to figure that out. Oh, and I only have so many minutes on the GoPro as well because I did not bring a backup battery even though I had one in the car <sighs> good job 
second gear. This is... Ah, just has a little bit of a dead spot in the throttle. You know, my bike has the same thing, but it's, you know, different. It's throttle by wire. Just a different thing. Exact same thing, but but different way to get there. It's kind of annoying, to tell you the truth. Decided we're gonna go this way. I didn't know if they were gonna come around me or not. So uh, instead, I decided to take it easy. Tight turns on a big bike, on a big bike, big bike like, big bike like to drop it low. My hands are starting to hurt a little bit. That means I am putting way too much pressure on them. All right, let's <sighs> Honda, Honda. You, why must you Honda put the horn in the middle and the turn on the bottom? Why can't you be like everyone else? I'm looking at you, Honda, where the turn is in the middle and the horn is on the bottom. It's way easier to get to the horn this way. You just lift it up. You don't have to go over the turn signal and bump that and then not actually end up punking the horn when you need to. Although I've gotten better at hitting it, so that's good. That takeoff sucked. This bike scares the f out of me. Holy sh This bike is so fast. Oh, look at that. Old oh, man and his woman. thing has so much power. People who can put down the power on these things. Wow. Big balls. <laughs> did, did I just hear a pop? The exhaust pop? I swear to God, I thought that's what I heard. I'm trying to remember how I get back around without returning the same way I returned. Exactly where I want to be. Sand. Let's drive over the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. All right. All right. Do it in a black Dodge truck. You never trust to do it in a black Dodge truck. Yeah. Totally. Exhaust totally pops when you do that. That first to second. That was sick. Really starting to like this bike. Ryan, to answer your question, I am really starting to like the ZX-14R. I don't know that I have the fever, but it is definitely fun. Don't ride it enough to get comfortable with it though. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Was that two perfect downshifts in a row? God, I'm good. Man, I am totally capable of doing the most basic things on a motorcycle. Yeah! They call me average. Look at this little Prius. Using all of its electricity. Good God! Oh, just, just barely cracking the 
throttle and it just goes. It just goes. Folks, it just goes. See, now I really need to. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's four downships in a row. Nailed it. I've realized I need to pre tension with this particular bike. Oh, no poppy poppy. What are you gonna do? I think it, it, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it did it after like holding it at a certain RPM for a certain amount of time. Oh, five, and that was a good one. That wasn't just a bullet one. I am out of time. I am going to turn into a pumpkin. I don't want someone to run me over. It's a heavy clutch, for sure. Oh, that D, D cell. Oh, man, that's so good. So good. So good. What are you gonna do? You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. I will say, I think this rear brake feels a little weird. Just, it's folded in a little bit. Oh, golf course, right? Anybody out? Anybody out hitting balls? Anybody out hitting balls? I'm in first gear. Anybody out hitting balls? Anybody out hitting balls? Anybody out hitting balls? I'm out in first gear. I don't see anybody hitting balls. thing is I'm not even like 25% throttle this thing is insane I mean absolutely insane it's crazy now I got the Sun in my face so I'm pretty sure this footage is dog shit. I guess I'll find out probably have to do some terrible color correction color grading I'm a, a color grader color grade all of your videos otherwise they look like sh I know there's a lot of youtubers out there who try to help people you know and they preach that like a lot of times I don't I don't even really tell the difference when this color grade is normal straight out of the camera and look what I did like ah uh, man a lot of times I don't even notice the difference I mean I see there is a difference but like what, what, what's it, what's it matter? I mean, I get it if you're trying to go with, like, for a specific theme, like, DC does this super gray, drab, whatever, color scheming in their movies, Batman, Superman, and it, it kind of sucks, and Marvel does this, like, right thing, but, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm proving myself, telling myself why it matters. But a lot of times I don't even notice a difference. They're just like, this one sucks, this one's better. Okay, I mean I get color grading if you're trying to make all of your scenes look the same. You know, like all of them, all of them look the same. And sometimes different cameras give different, different colors right out the gate, you know. At different times of day and sh so I get that. But when it's just like one scene, they're like, this is so much better. Okay, here we go. Obligatory. Well, this has been all.
awesome. And it's 5.26, which is an hour ahead, just like my bike. So it's actually 4.26. Yo, what if I do this? Like, exactly at 30 minutes. How dope would that be? I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. Stop! In the name of golf carts, they will run you over. Yeah, I love that old guy just like hand. Don't lift it up. I'm just gonna open the hand all the way and then close it. That's legit old school. That's how you do it, brother. It's just so subtle. Like, you just care barely enough to show a minute sign. And I love it. Mr. Nothing Unsavory might be coming and getting his bike soon. So hopefully I can make maybe one more video. But I think he needs to do it by the end of January. So maybe not. And if this is the last time I ride it, man, hey, that was, that was a pretty good trip. It's a little short trip, but a pretty good trip. And uh, it was fun. It was a really good time. There's a little bit of gas left. And overall, I think it was a pretty good trip. How you doing? Nice to get it out, stretch his legs a little bit. So I can't complain. With that said, uh, I gotta get running so I can go get my kids from school. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Uh, if you liked it, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I don't think you need to do the notification thing, but if you want to, you can go ahead. I don't, I don't think it does anything. A lot of people says it doesn't really do anything, but that'd be cool if you did. More importantly, just, just uh, hit that like and subscribe. Maybe throw a comment down there. I'd like to hear what you guys think of this little ride video, and uh, tell me if you've ever ridden one of these things, and if it also scared the shit out of you too. Uh, until next guy, next time, everyone, take care. Bye bye.